Good evening. My name is Joseph Buckman. I reside in East Baton Rouge Parish. I too am a combat veteran. Uh, so can thank you also. Ma'am, if you'd really like to thank me, uh, holistic things like cradle, they're good for us. I am disabled. I suffer from PTSD. This is hard for me. A year ago, you'd never find me right here. I'd be that guy in the back. I was a hardcore alcoholic. Craven took me and turned my life around. Crazy, crazy, I never thought. I never knew how lost I was and how irregular I felt. Now, I find myself in my yard. I'm playing with my kids. I'm having actual conversations. I go through things. Walmart was horrible. When you have PTSD like I do, this is a no-go. Too many people, it's way too many people. I couldn't go to a family functions, birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. This is real, this is real. When you wake up every day and you've lived it and you find something that is like a miracle, it's like a godsend. It changed me. I haven't drank in over a year. Once I found it, I didn't want to. I wasn't hiding anymore. It let me be me. There's many other veterans out there that are prescribed God knows what by the VA. That's all they can turn to. Things like this, you're looking to ban it. Anything that is not big profit or big pharma, it's not good. For some reason, the government does not like it. We shouldn't be like that. As a veteran with PTSD, I shouldn't be forced to carry around a bag of prescriptions. I don't want it, I don't believe it. 22 service members kill themselves every day. Most of them, I can guarantee, that they were probably prescribed more than you ever see in your own medical cabinet at home. Whether it be cough syrup, cough drops, you would be astounded by what they give us because now they got to count on the side effects from this drug that they gave you with this drug. And now you got to take this to count on the side effects of these. Well, if we have something that's inexpensive, that works, that does not bring you to an all out opioid crisis like we're seeing because of these prescriptions getting written freely. What do we do? Don't make it harder on people like me to live a normal life. Don't take me away from my kids by forcing me to take prescription drugs. I don't want to. I don't want to see any of my brothers do it. I've seen them go down the hole. That's not good. Give us something more to look for. Age restrictions? Do it. Let's do it. Why not? Make a step. Make steps for the right way. If you want to help people and you want to thank me and Paul for his service, Give us something more natural. It's a plant. They grind it. How much more natural can we get? Can I ask a question? Um, so you're talking about you having this all these prescriptions that you were taking. What prescription medicine does this kratom take the place of? I don't take. I've never believed in the prescriptions. I've seen. I've, I've been in the military for 17 years. I'm actually getting. I know a lot of people I've served. People that I was deployed with that come back. And I've seen what they take. I don't want that. I don't ever want to have to depend on that. Do you guys know? I can tell you, uh, a lot of men, uh, Xanax, uh, a lot of sleep aids that I was on, like uh, some of the TI, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like, yeah, that's it. Uh, so a bunch of that, and my Xanax, uh, my Xanax prescription, I was getting 110 a month. Uh, then the pain and everything I was dealing with, at one point I was getting. 140 Roxy Cottons, uh, 140 Solomons. Um, just, just, it never ended. So you got off of that in your use well, of Well, I went to treatment centers to get off of it. My last stamp was a six month um, in-house in Rockford, Illinois, um, which I stayed there for six months. I graduated a week later, I was back drinking. Um, and that's when, that's when a family member handed me this crazy to me. And ever since that, four years ago, I don't drink no more, I don't rely on that pharmaceutical medicine or anything. Um, I'm, I'm back to normal. You know, I, mean, I, got, I got my family and everything back. That, that's the biggest thing we're looking at here for people like us. You know, we're not out abusing it, we're not looking to abuse it. We just want an alternative. An alternative that's not going to take a toll on our body by whatever prescription they feel is the hot new thing that they want to try. We're not getting big anymore. We want something. Ballistic, we want something that we know what's in it. 
We just want a chance to be normal.